House Bill 3613 passed into law and became effective September 1, 2013. This law amends Section 32.015 of the tax code, allowing a tax lien to be removed from the title records of a manufactured home if it has been delinquent for more than four years and there's been no lawsuits filed to collect the taxes in question within the four-year time period. In addition to the liens which have a tax suit filed, the department has determined that a tax lien which may have been deferred, placed on a payment plan, have a judgment on file, or under bankruptcy, appropriately fall under the same legislative intent and should also be preserved. To run a report for your entity, go to the department's website at www.tdhca.state.tx.us and click on the blue Manufactured Housing tab. This will take you to the Manufactured Housing Division's web page. Go to the left side of the page under the Division Links and click the Tax Lien Information link. Scroll down to the red box and click the Search for Tax Liens Affected by House Bill 3613 link. Enter your tax unit or central tax collector account number. If you do not possess a central tax collector account, a separate report must be created for every entity collected by your organization. If you do not know the eight-digit taxing ID number and need help in locating the number, links to the Comptroller's Office are provided for your convenience. Once the account number has been entered, click List. This will generate a table of the data compiled from the department's system. To save the information, click the Spreadsheet button below the table. Once the file has been prepared, click Download the File. Select the Open option to open the file. This will open a C-Prompt window. Double-click on the Excel spreadsheet created. At this time, you should modify the spreadsheet by adding the appropriate reason under the Reason column. Again. The liens that are eligible for preservation are bankruptcy, deferred for persons over 65, a judgment, payment plan, and a suit filed. Please note that if you list that a lawsuit has been filed, you need to list the case number assigned to the lawsuit. Once this final step is completed, you must save the file using your entity name as the file name. Once saved, please email the file to tax lien at tdhca.state.tx.us before the statutory deadline. That's it! Just a few easy steps to creating a tax lien report pursuant to House Bill 3613. For more information, feel free to access our website at www.tdhca.state.tx.us or contact us at 512-475-2884. We look forward to serving you.